But first this morning, the month of May has been dedicated in part to raising awareness about brain tumors. These tumors can be among the most difficult to treat. Thankfully, patients in central Ohio have a cutting-edge treatment option. It's known as Columbus Cyberknife. Joining me to talk about it is Dr. Robert Gewitz, the Neurosurgical Medical Director at Columbus Cyberknife. Dr. Gewitz, thanks for being here. I really appreciate you being here. Let's talk a little bit about what Cyberknife is, first of all, so people understand what we're speaking of. Cyberknife is a device which performs radio surgery. And what that means is a special device that focuses beams of radiation in a very accurate and precise way. Well, that's pretty a simple way to describe it. Now, although the word cyber knife is used, it's actually a non-invasive technique, correct? That's correct. There doesn't have to be any cut in the skin to do this. Which makes it, uh, I guess, it takes a little of the stress away for patients who are considering this, I would imagine. Absolutely it does. Uh, one of the uh, nice features about this particular device is that it's completely non-invasive and it doesn't require any kind of device to physically hold the patient's head in place. So there's no pins, no clamps, nothing like that. It doesn't hurt at all. Well, and that was going to be my next question. People are always concerned on any type of surgery about the pain factor. How, how, what, what, what is the pain factor like? On this, there's none. Um, the radiation is delivered completely painlessly. You might get a little headache for a day or two afterwards, but that's an unusual side effect. Let's talk about the length of the treatment. How long does the process take? How long should patients plan for, uh, for the whole process? Well, the whole process really begins with an initial, initial consultation. There's going to be a number of different studies that need to be performed, like CAT scans and MRI scans. There will be a lot of time spent by myself and my colleagues doing planning on a computer, at which point a patient can be home doing other things. Once we have the plan completed, and that can take many hours, the patient comes in, they get the treatment, and it can be as short as half an hour. Amazing. And then how about recovery time? You can resume your activities right after the treatment, so there really isn't any kind of recovery involved. Well, that is absolutely remarkable, mm -hmm. and talk about some of the success that you had with it, especially with this type of non-invasive, relatively quick in terms of recovery time. I mean, the, the, the success stories must be, uh, must be tremendous for you. We've had some really good success with this device. You have to understand it's a tool that it works on certain things and not on everything. And so where it's appropriately selected, for example, on small tumors that are deep-seated in the brain or small vascular malformations, the results are incredible and very, very easy on the patient. Yeah, you hear frequently when you talk about a patient with a brain tumor, well, that one's, we can't get to it. It's impossible. It's in a bad spot. Is that something that you also have to deal with, or does this make it easier to, to get those tough ones, so to speak? This really makes it a lot easier to get some of those tough ones that previously would come at a very high cost to the patient if we tried to go after it surgically. And let's compare the traditional forms of surgery versus CyberKnife and, and what the advantages are. I'm, I'm hearing some of them already, but expand on that a little bit if you would. Well, the CyberKnife, what it does is it delivers a uh, dose of radiation that is so high, but to a very small area, that it literally kills anything inside the target. So it's much the same as actually physically cutting it out. It, it just gets rid of the tissue that's in there. Um, the advantage to this is that it focuses light much like a lens does, or focuses radiation much like a lens does, so that the surrounding area gets very little radiation. So only the target gets the damage. Whereas if surgically, if we had to go into a deep-seated tumor deep inside the brain, we'd actually have to cut a path through the brain to get to it. And this, all that tissue between the normal surface of the brain and where the tumor is located doesn't get any kind of injury. Wow, this is quite an advancement. How long has this technology been around? Well, the CyberKnife has been around probably a little over a decade. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the original technique of radiosurgery has been around since the 50s. But we've really come a long way in uh, some of the technology used to deliver this. So it's a lot less painful, it's a lot more accurate, it's a lot more efficient. Are there other types of cancers that it's also applicable for? There are all kinds of cancers that can be used for. And some brain tumors aren't cancers. Some of them are benign, and this is a, uh, an appropriate use for certain types of benign tumors. And it can be used on certain things like vascular malformations. Wow, it really is. And, and you talk about side effects sometimes, too, with radiation and chemotherapy. It sounds like this is minimal as well because it's so focused. That's right. This is very different than the kind of radiation that most cancer patients get where all their hair falls out and they get very sick and tired. There's very, very little of that with this type of uh, device. Wow. All right. We've got more information, but do you want to uh, share the contact information, how people get a hold of you if, uh, if they need to? Well, online is probably the best way to go, and that's at uh, uh, columbusck.com. 
Uh, and then, of course, always can get a consultation through my office, which the phone number is 614-261-0393. Awesome. Doctor, great information. It really sounds like it's amazing. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you.